What is up, YouTube family? Attention to that. Hey, y'all. Hi, fam. Let's see who we got on the chat tonight. Oh, y'all caught me in the midst of actually typing. So, all right. I'm messaging y'all just like I know y'all would message me. The chats will come. Hi, my love bug. It's good to hear from you too, Rachel. I am doing so good. I hope you are doing good. I hope life is treating you well. And I hope that you're taking care of yourself during this time. I know you are a senior love bug. I'm sending you virtual vibes. And thank you for reaching out. I got to show love to y'all. Y'all will not believe this. So this is actually my second time filming tonight. <laughs> this is something I'm trying so new. I'm new to the YouTube live. But I thought that I was filming, right? And then <laughs> and then I finished the video, okay? Because I'm just sharing. We family, right? And then it shows me that I was on the wrong channel. So I was like... I did a whole look and everything. So y'all, I, because I love y'all that much, I am back and we're going to do this thing the correct way. Like, ugh, I knew something was wrong because I didn't even have like folks saying anything. And I was just like, well, they're looking and they're watching, but I don't, I don't hear from y'all. So it's good to know that we are where we need to be tonight. But hello to y'all. Hello to Natural Caleb family community. It's so good to hear from y'all. So good to see y'all. Like, I know I've been missing in action. Y'all can slay my edges. Y'all can snatch them up. I know she's been gone. Your girl has been out of the loop. But Fun fact, because this is my second time tonight, I've actually seen that YouTube Live is so cool. So she has no excuses because I honestly think that this is like an amazing idea. So like, I feel like when y'all haven't heard from me in a while, y'all need to be like, yo, Kayla, where you at? Do a live. But hey, family, y'all come on in. Y'all woke. Y'all are welcome. Um, so I am going to do a makeup look for y'all tonight, um, for the sake of time. I know it's late and I know y'all probably got the time, but I am going to try to keep it short and sweet, not too short. So go grab you some popcorn girl, or go do something, go get something because we're going to do some makeup or you can just pull out your makeup. That's another great thing. And we can just do some makeup together. Yes. But yes, y'all come on in. <laughs> I am really, really new to the YouTube live. So y'all forgive me if I'm acting like a real like amateur over here. Like, ugh, I am, I'm adjusting. And y'all, let me just be for real. So it took forever to actually even get on here because I had to like set it up first. And then it told me that I wouldn't be able to go live for like 24 hours after I tried to set it up. So I was just like, I really went through the works, y'all, to try to get to this point. So I'm just <laughs> happy we are here. But welcome, 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 y'all. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get into it. Like I said, we are catching up tonight. Um, so the main thing that I'm really wanting to focus on tonight is the actual channel, talking to you all about that, where my head is at with it and all of that good stuff. And also just showing you all some really great things that I've been using here lately for myself um, in terms of makeup and all of that jazz. So we're going to get into it tonight. So I'm excited to see y'all. Yes. And y'all know this is like live. So you are getting the real uncut version of Kayla, like the behind the scenes, which you don't see before she edit, like all of that. Yes. Um, 
I'm excited. I'm really, really like my excitement and energy and adrenaline is all there. So y'all, I need y'all to match that energy tonight. Okay. Y'all, how are y'all doing? Let me know. Comment. Let me know where y'all from. Let me see who's here. I want to converse with y'all. We are family here. So please get comfortable. Have a seat. Y'all, it's like get really, really comfortable. What your girl is about to do because I did forget today. She's going to take your vitamins. So like I told y'all, we family. Like we are going to get real uncut um, and real, real, real. Um, and let's go in. So, um, actually, I'm talking about vitamins. So, if you are on the lookout for vitamins, I'm like, this is not sponsored or anything. This is just Kayla doing her life lively thing. This is actually by the company Ollie's. And this is a perfect women's multivitamins. You do get your boost of A, C, D, B's, um, E, biotin, and folic acid in these. These are great. You take two daily, and I've been loving them. Holly's is a plant-based company. I love them. So I've been actually taking these vitamins for over six months now. And I'm going to do it because they were sitting right here and I forgot to do them today. So, yeah. Where are y'all coming from, family? What time is it where y'all at? I know it's like really late. And, well, for me, it's just 947. Yeah. Is it going to? Yep. It's 9 47 where I'm at. And I don't know. I'm used to going to bed at a certain time, really during the week. This is the weekend, right? I don't know what day it is at this point, but we're just going to act like, yeah, we can just live our best life tonight. But even though it's late, I hope y'all don't get too tired and weary on me because I'm excited. I haven't seen y'all in a while, and I'm still chewing. Ugh. But yeah, I'm excited. I haven't seen y'all in a while. I have some really exciting things to show y'all and new things that I've been doing. So I hope that y'all find something from this. And um, yeah, I really hope that it can really be helpful because I've been able to learn at least something while I've been down during, well, during my downtime. I've been able to learn some new things. Um, um Yes, I've been able to learn some new things, find other products that I really, really enjoy, uh, and all of that good stuff. As y'all probably saw on the thumbnail, I'm probably, I hope I don't drop that then. I showed y'all my little uh, container here with all the products that I'm trying to do, to use tonight. And show y'all, we have a lot of different things, a lot of different face products. Probably half of this stuff I have not used on my channel before. So y'all are in for a treat. Of course, you are the infamous Rachel, Rachel Queen, Queen Rachel. Yes, I appreciate the love and support you always show me. Of course, you are my love book. All right, I am not going to talk y'all's ears off. I'm already eight minutes in. Dang, Kayla, like, try to do better. But anywho, I'm going to start, of course, y'all know me. I always start off with something skincare related. That's just my thing. Um, and to be honest, I just washed my face not too long ago. Today was wash day, so, you know, she's twisted up. And my twists are actually pretty dry right now, and I'm looking, looking nice, so... Um, I thought at first, like, no, I can't jump on camera like that. But these actually, I wear mini twists. So these were like around the same size as my mini twists. So yeah, but I'm going to go ahead and moisturize. Um, started with the lips. This is actually a really nice lip balm that I, it's a natural lip balm that I've been enjoying wearing. Um, whenever I do my makeup, it's by, um, the company TGIN. Thank God it's natural. It is a natural hair company, and I didn't know that they made other products, so that's pretty cool. But this is their Peppermint Shea Butter Lip Balm, and it's bomb. Like, it is really good. Um, so, to actually do the moisturizing of my face, I'm going to actually show y'all what I use on the regular in my skincare. So, first, to start off, I'm going to use the Hyaluronic Acid. This is not necessarily a moisturizer, but this is what I normally would have underneath my um, moisturizer. For me, lately here, I have not been using primer. Um, 
And so what I've been using in terms of like skincare related products to moisturize has normally been what I've been using as my base. This product actually had recommended to me like last year, year ago that I've been using it uh, because as you can see, we were real uncut tonight. And so the dark marks and blemishes is something that uh, my uh, cousin actually told me about this product. She was like, yeah, it really helps with dark marks. So I'm still trying it out. And another product that I've been using by this company, which is called Advanced Clinicals. Um, this is another product for dark uh, dark spots. It's their spot corrector. And it has shea butter, cocoa butter, and also vitamin E. I also am trying this out. And so it's like a cream base, whereas the hyaluronic acid is just a serum. And so I'm also just going to rub, 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 rub this all over. And um, for me, even though like you can just rub this in places where you have dark marks, uh, dark marks, I rub it all over. So, <laughs> so for the start of the shows, my moisturizer is typically what I've been using in, uh, in place of primer. Now, if you've been watching my channel before, you know that primer was something that I like lived by in terms of like having a really good base for my makeup because primer is really good for people who have oily skin. But here lately, I just haven't been feeling it. And you'll see in this video why. Um, but in terms of moisturizers, I've showed this product like a ton of times on my channel. It's just Neutrogena Naturals Multivitamin. This is their nourishing moisturizer. This product is said to be used, it can be used alone and also underneath your makeup. So that's another reason why I really love it. And then this product, so I usually have been using this during the night. And then during the day, as of recently, I've been picking up this product. This is um, the Ole Complete um, Daily Moisturizer and it has an SPF of 15 in it. And I recently picked this up because I wanted a moisturizer, a better moisturizer than the one I had before that still had the SPF because of course we're creeping up on the spring and summer months. I think we're already in spring. Okay, Kayla, like y'all been in the house for days. So um, <laughs> yeah, so we are coming up on those months. So of course we have to protect our skin, but I really, really have been enjoying this moisturizer. It's pretty price reasonable. Y'all know me, like I really want to make sure that I'm helping the community and not like showing y'all this expensive stuff. So yeah, uh, but this is, yes, it has SPF of 15. It is for sensitive skin and this is a daily moisturizer. So I usually use this during the day and I can also get away with using this alone just like the other product but for the sake of the video I'm going to use my holy grail Neutrogena what's been going on y'all how y'all been how y'all been feeling how y'all miss me oh my god like I miss y'all too like I really not stunting I really have been missing you all um and it's so obvious because I was going through the works tonight to get this up and running. Yeah, I was really upset that I was filming this all along. And I don't know why. So fun fact, if you do use like your Gmail account or something like because normally I guess Google and YouTube has a thing. Um, so if you use your Gmail account to sign into your YouTube, just kind of pay attention to which one you're underneath because if you're not um, aware, I think you can have like a channel underneath your like actual Gmail account for YouTube. And so I don't know, for some reason, way back in the day when I set this thing up, I didn't do mine underneath my gmail so it's set up that way still though but i was filming on the one for my gmail and not this one and so i was like where's the video it wasn't on this one it was on the other one and i was like oh my god so y'all like yes it was an hour and like 30 minutes or something so <laughs> i went through the works i love y'all that much so but anywho let's get into the makeup so y'all know me i am a brows first girl and so that means i have to start my brows before anything else um and of course tonight she tweets her brows and so we're nice and clean and i got that going and so that is what i am going to uh have you know i really need a sharpened pencil okay we gotta do what we gotta do i couldn't find one but i'm going in with my all-time favorite product by wet and wild um it's their cold eye 
liner um, in this little baby thing. But you know, I'm one of those people that you ain't done until all the product is out and used. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, that's just me. Like, I cannot throw products away until every single corner <laughs> and piece of the product is used. You gotta get your money's worth, okay, honey? Like, don't just be wasting money out here. Like, don't be wasting quarters or dimes or nickels. Use it all. You pay for it. For my twist, okay, so yes, I love it. Y'all, this is all about the beauty. Ask me anything. Um, right now, I am currently using the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream um, Twisting Butter, I believe is what it's called. It is like a really well-known um, product. And um, I wish I had it in front of me. Do I? I do not. But... It is, yes, like I said, it's the uh, Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream um, Curling Butter. And it is amazing. Oh, when I tell you, it is amazing. Like, it gives me so much definition. I actually had a person who was working at Target at the time. She was a natural black girl. Love her um, because she saved my life in terms of my twisted butter because that, I like, I had a favorite and this is my favorite now like I will never return to my favorite because of this product but like it is really good it will really moisturize your curls um and the definition is oh my god like I wish my hair was well actually <laughs> my hair is kind of dry and I don't mind taking a twist down to kind of show you so I'm just gonna undo this twist and just show you because you know sharing is caring so I don't know if you can tell, but my curls are there and defined. So this Carol's daughter, you got to love her. Love her and all of her daughters. Like, look at that definition. Um, but yeah, like that is the product that I've been using here lately. I know I'm, I'm really out there, y'all. But it's a really good product. Um, it usually retails for about... I would say $9.99 and normally I can find it anywhere that sells Carol's Daughters products. Um, Target is your best bet if you are near one. If not, I've also been able to find it at CVS or Walgreens. Um, normally those places. Walmart, at least the one in my area, has been slacking with having this in stock. But if you just so have it, find it at Walmart, then yes, grab it. Um, but I know I was always able to find it at CVS, Target, Walgreens, even if you go to like Ulta, even though Ulta is pretty, it's going to sell the floor more expensive because Ulta is just that expensive and it's great, but you, you're going to spend some money in Ulta. Um, but you can find it in Ulta, all of those great places. Um, I just think sometimes I've struggled to find it in Walmart and I've used this product now for about six months. It's pretty dope. I really, really like it. Um, so y'all, I have my pencil sharpened. We're back in business and I'm just going to go ham and outline my brows and also fill in very lightly. I actually did just tweeze my brows today. Um, and it's just something about like when you want to do your brows, you know, something about having a clean brow, uh, meaning like a brow that's freshly done, you know, it's not looking all fuzzy and stuff. Um, just got to have a nice clean brow, nice clean brow. Um, and so, yeah, I honestly will be very transparent and say, even though I have a lot of other products that I'm showing here that's new, my brow product has been one that I have not budged on. And I almost tried something different a few weeks back. Um, I was going to try like a brow powder or like a brow gel or something. But I was just like, mm, no, I know what works for me. And when you know something works, you know, don't try to fix it. What's the saying? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Like, it was one of those moments for me. 
Um, Because I'm always for trying new things. And if I don't slow myself down, I'm never going to be consistent with something so or with a product. So I've been able to find those products where I can remain consistent. And I hope that um, product that I mentioned, you caught it. I, I really wish I had it in front of me. Maybe after this, I can go and grab it real quick. It's just in my bathroom. Um, yeah. It's the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream Curling Butter. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> like, yeah, I almost tried something new a few weeks back, but I didn't, y'all. I kept, I kept strong and it was really probably just going to be a waste of money for me if I didn't like it either. So yeah, so I'm going to clean up my brows with one of my favorite, all time favorite concealers. And this is by LA Girl. Um, and this is their HD Pro Concealer. This concealer is pretty close to my skin tone. And it is in the color um, chestnut. So um, here we go. Here we go. And I'm just going to clean up around my brows. Y'all, I have a little fur baby. Her name is Autumn. She's a plot town. She may come up at some point. But right now, she's in the back growling. Um, we have neighbors and stuff, and so she doesn't understand that just yet. She's not adjusted, so yeah, because we just recently had to move, and so she's not adjusted to the neighbors just yet, so we're working on her. Um, I'm working on her. Um, all right, so just cleaning up my brows. So one thing, I think I've talked about this several times in videos when it comes to cleaning up around your brows is you want to definitely have a concealer that's pretty close to your skin tone or your, like your foundation shade or whatever, because so often we have all fallen victim to using a, a concealer shade that's too bright for us and cleaning up around our brows with that. And we come out looking like a halo around the brows and we don't want that. We want our brows to look neat, but natural. Um, and so it just takes time. We got to live and learn, right? That's what it's all about. Um, I won't even say that this shade is dead on my, um, my color, but it's pretty close. And so um, I've used it for a while now. And what I do... Once I'm done cleaning up, I what I have to do is just make sure I blend it all in. So I'm just taking my beauty blender and I'm blending all of that concealer out. Um, yes. Blending, blending, blending. All right. And then also there are times that I just go in the middle of my brows um, because I want to make sure I hit that area too in case there's like any extra product or anything. Yeah. Are we good? One thing I've said in videos in the past, your eyebrows will not be twins. They might be cousins, but definitely not twins because um, one may be higher than the other and they just might not match. You know, you can get as close as you can. Sometimes it really just might not match because your brows may be different shapes to begin with. But you do what you can. You make it work. Uh, one thing that I've been doing lately, I don't always have to do is use a brow gel, which this is what I like to say is like the top coat to my brows. It's not necessary. This is very optional. You don't have to do this. Um, I know I just picked up this product not too long ago, so I've decided to just keep something like this in my stash um but it's definitely not needed like it's so optional and i say that because <clears throat> i know for me i set my makeup with like a setting spray already so i know that it's probably not as essential as other things now moving on y'all to like my bff in my makeup routine as of lately so i said that i have been pulling back from primer right so here lately i have been using a translucent powder as a base and i will tell you why because i know it may seem really like off for some people while i'm putting powder underneath foundation but um what i have been 
noticing and hearing from some of my favorite YouTubers and seeing, I've seen this technique used so many times before here on YouTube, but I never really wanted to try because I was like, no, I'm a primer girl. You can't pull me from primer. But um, I know Jackie Ina, she has also talked about this on her channel. But um, this using a translucent powder underneath your foundation or any cream or liquid based foundation that you use can help as a um, help soak up the excess oils or anything like that that may produce in your makeup or on your makeup throughout the day and so what i've been doing lately is using that technique and i've really seen a difference um and definitely think that this is something to have around as we creep up on these coming months um because the sun will shine y'all and it would be hot and blazing and so i definitely recommend this and so i wanted to show you all and also give my take on this because it really has been working so today i'm going to go in using my Laura Mercy A translucent powder. Um, and it's just in the color translucent. Um, I know that this is a high-end product, so I recognize. Hey, honey bunches, Melissa, good to see you. Um, I know that there are products out here that are definitely not as high-end as this one. I know I paid about $20 for this one, but um, I try to like always be accessible um, or bring up products that are accessible here. Um, and so another really good translucent powder that I know you can find in drugstores is the Cody Airspun. If you've ever heard anything about it, I've seen it in pretty much any convenience store. So you can probably find it in a Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, Target, the list goes on. So those places, I haven't really necessarily seen it like dollar stores, sometimes even grocery stores that may carry like a, may have like a makeup section. Sometimes they even have it. I know like Kroger, I've seen it there. So it's a jewel. So I definitely recommend the Cody Airspud. But I'm going to take this fluffy, small fluffy brush. It's an Eco Tools brush, blush. And I am going to apply this to my face. Sometimes I just apply the product first before actually blending it out. And I'll take what I need and then dust off the rest. And so right now I'm gonna look really crazy, but I'm just gonna pack the product on first before blending it out. And I really try to focus in the areas that I know I get really oily, which for me is my nose sometimes above my brows and then also um, on my cheek areas. So here I am, I'm just going to spread the product all over my face just because that's just an extra I call insurance for my makeup because um, I don't only have to use this um, in the areas that I get oily you can use it all over it's just going to help soak up the oils it's not going to disturb any of the products so that's that um and sometimes even if, like I've heard people that may not necessarily want to wear makeup one day and they just want something on their face. I've even seen people dust translucent on their face just to kind of feel like a, I don't know, barrier to help soak up oils. People have done so many different things. I've never tried that, but I've heard it. So I'm just thinking of things that you can do with translucent. You can do multiple things. So now that I have that down, I'm then going to move on to another day here that I've been using lately. And this is the Makeup Revolution. Um, this is their Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And the shade that I've been using is in F14. I really, really have been enjoying this product. This is a product line that I know they recently launched their line. I believe this line um, was recently launched. And they also have a concealer set um, along with it. I do have the concealer. I like it. It doesn't top my favorite concealer though, but I really do like it. Um, but I really love the shade range that they came out with for this particular line. Like they had your lights, your neutrals, and also those really pretty dark, deep browns. So this is definitely a company I would recommend that I definitely can see they are definitely trying to provide a range within their makeup lines because I know we have been filled in the past where companies have not provided enough shades for everyone right and so i really enjoy seeing companies launch ooh, launch different product lines that really are trying to reach multiple um a multi um 
a spectrum of folks, right? So I'm going to shake, shake, shake this up. I've been really loving this. And y'all, this was like an impulse buy, but this was probably uh, probably one of my favorite impulse buys of foundation here lately because it has really been, it's really been everything. So it comes in a tube-like thing like this, and then it has like a little wand. I like the wand. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I do like that it is available because it helps you control how much product you get out of the bottle. So love, love, love that. So I'm going to take the wand and just apply enough that I need. And one thing that I know I also really, I don't know how I feel about the wand. I have to continue to put um, enough product on my face, which that's a good thing and a bad thing because what if I just want to you know, quickly get enough product on my face, but you got to take time with this. So that's my only thing about it. I love it. And then I just I have my moments. So and I got a little bit on my finger. So we don't waste product over here, boo. So I'm just going to wipe that on there. And now it's time to blend, girl. So I'm going to take my fairly, yes, you can judge, ratchet beauty blender. I have already wet it. So that's usually how I like to use my beauty blenders. Um, you have to wet it first. Make sure you absorb so much water in it and then you squeeze it out to activate it to help it become bigger and um, fluffier. And that's where you know you are ready to go. That is how to properly use a beauty blender. But I'm going to go ahead and blend this all over my face. And like I read off of the bottle, it is a full coverage foundation. So all of my blemishes and dark marks, I really usually can get away with um, getting a really good coverage with this foundation. And I've been loving it, y'all. Like It has done my face wonders. Y'all see my big forehead? Y'all know this is the uncut version of Kayla. So we gonna just pop some head. Y'all know this is the uncut version of Kayla. So we gonna just pop some girl all in a state of just, you know, despair in some ways. Um, and I know that we all are in need of being able to unplug at times and really take care of ourselves. What are some things that y'all have been doing to take care of yourself? Comment below. Let me know, family. We are all about sharing here and being in community. Um, I talked about this. Well, I talked about it in the, the last video, right? That didn't get to get shown, right? Because nobody was there. Um, for those of you that just logged on, I was telling my folks that I thought I was really filming this video all along, but it tur turns out that I actually was not. I was on the wrong channel, so yes, but I was determined to get this out. Um, but here lately, I have actually been listening to podcasts, and I know one podcast that I have really been enjoying that has been helping me in the mental health area of my life is called Therapy for Black Girls. Um, it is a podcast by the Dr. Joy Harden Bradford. I believe that's her last name. Um, and she is amazing. I love her. She features a lot of different topics on her podcast. Um, all of, all topics around mental health, all things in terms of um, topics that some of the viewers may also request her to talk about. She has a Facebook page and a community where a lot of the people that listen to the podcast also comment and she features different questions and things like that that people ask her and she will also um, have different posts on the Facebook page from people's questions. So it's just an all around really great community um, and I've really been enjoying it. But I also have so many other different podcasts that I enjoy. Um, what's some other ones? I enjoy Transformation Church. Um, love that one. Also have been listening to TD Jake. So I have I have a lot of different like faves. Like I I usually focus on like I don't know, lifestyle. I may have um, culture, like different podcasts that I listen to listen to around culture. Um, of course, faith based. Gotta have my Jesus. But yes, y'all, it is an all around just great thing to do. Um, and I know some people 
um, even listen to audiobooks. So this kind of reminds me of that in a way. So I just try to unplug and do some things that I know I really can get my mind off things. Now, I will say as far as social media, social media can be toxic, though we need all the updates and all those things that we need to be aware of. We also need to be mindful of the unnecessary news and things like that. And so Honestly, one of my tips, I've also even been encouraging my students when I talk to them about ways that, you know, we can take care of ourselves. Unplugging is a thing that we can do. And even that can involve um, getting off of social media, taking just a, a, a break from social media, just because that is also something that you are able to do. And some people don't remember because we're so immersed in it, right? Like we love the posts and we love the community, but sometimes it can be toxic. And so that that taking a break from social media thing and is honestly something you don't have to announce and you don't owe anybody an explanation if you do choose to do it because it's your business and you have a right to take care of yourself. So I honestly say do what you have to do for you during this time that can really honestly help you in all areas. I say spiritually, emotionally, physically, um, mentally, all around. Um, we are all in need of being able to take care of ourselves during this, this time. But we are in this together that I know. And it's another reason why I decided to log on tonight because we got to unplug. We got to get, get our minds off things. And uh, makeup is therapy for me. Um, so if you watch my my channel before you know that I really really enjoy talking about health and those kind of things and mental health is one of those areas that I most recently have just gained so much awareness about and so I'm definitely willing to be open and honest and transparent and find and share some things that I've been using myself and just try to share that with you all so yes but I'm moving on to concealer as you can see the foundation is down in the coverage y'all hmm like, can you see what I'm saying? Like, this is amazing. It is everything. And another thing that I really like about this foundation, it gives you a really smooth skin-like just surface after everything is set and your makeup is just good to go. It really looks like my skin. So I really love it. I'm moving on to concealer next. And this is my all-time favorite concealer at the moment. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Um, and this concealer is set to last up to 16 hours. I'm looking for the packaging because this is a new tube, y'all. Um, this is a matte um, concealer and it also is full coverage. So if you have like dark marks or anything like that, this could be a really good concealer to pick up as it will um, with the coverage that it can give you provide that um, amount of coverage that you need underneath your eyes. It is also matte too. So just be mindful if you um, have oily skin, this could be really good. If you have dry skin, um, just try it. You never know what can what could work for you. The color that I have is in Deep Cinnamon. And y'all, I've used it so many times before. That's how I know it's my favorite. Um, but speaking of this particular product, I've actually used this. Um, actually, I have. But yes, I really also love the launch um, that this line came out with. It had, I believe, at least 18 shades, I want to say. Um, and these are the areas that I usually choose to highlight in. Um, but yeah, it, this this launch of when Elf came out with this particular line, they had over, I believe, 18 shades. Y'all, that is more than enough. When I tell you, like, the deeper, dark shades that I've seen are just gorgeous. So those women that normally their, you know, skin tone is really deep. It's sometimes hard to find, you know, shades that can really help suit, you know, your 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 skin tone. And so when I see companies trying to make an effort to provide that that coverage, I'm just like, yo, hands down to you, hats off. You can have my coins. Like, here you go. So that is also another reason why I wanted to be intentional about showing you some of the products that I have been using here lately. Because even though if I have some things that I've talked about before, I also know that um, some of the products that I have found here lately are not things that I may have used before. And I really want to feature on my channel and talk about because I also know that for those of you that may be very new to wearing makeup, 
Um, sometimes it could be hard to really know, like, what the heck should I use? Like concealer right now, you may not know what the heck I'm doing, um, which to kind of help explain this. So I usually highlight on an over the areas that sun may naturally hit my face. So sometimes it could be your bri the bridge of your nose or it could be underneath your eye or even your forehead at times. I don't highlight my forehead. I know some people do. Um, I tried in the past, but girl, hmm, child, it takes, it takes time. And I never really liked it. Like, don't get me wrong. I think it, it could be really beneficial, um, but it just wasn't my preference at the time. So I do what I can. I do what I can. But what I have seen some people do with makeup, they may make like a really straight line on the side of their nose and blend there, um, which I think that has purpose too. Um, but I think normally for me, I just go right underneath the eye in my inner tear duct area. And that's good. Um, but recently I have been finding that I've needed to highlight above my upper lip because I've seen pictures where I've just had foundation there and that area looks so dark and I was like I'm fine girl we got to fix that I'm like we we need to fix that so I've been trying my best to just you know try new things that I may not have done before and because we all are learning in this makeup process like I'm not perfect there are things that I'm probably not going to do next year that I am doing today just because I find something different. It's all about growing. So what I'm going to do to set my under eye concealer is go in with my L'Oreal, my L'Oreal, my L'Oreal, my Laura Marie. What's y'all? What's the girl's name? Yeah, I'm butchering her name all kind of ways. The Laura Mercier, for Christ's sake, the translucent powder. I'm going back in with that and I'm going to just set this concealer. And what this does, it just to help, it's also another way I can say it's your um, top coat to your concealer. Just like powder is my top coat to foundation. So it's all about you, it's about checks and balances. So you apply a liquid based product and a powder based product. And then both can help blend and immerse together and give you a nice smooth surface for some people foundation is just something that they feel like they can wear and get away with which is fine like if you are starting off wearing makeup and you don't necessarily want to pack on a lot of powders and concealer and foundation and you want to just start off with one product at a time you very well much can get away with that i will be honest and say when i first started wearing makeup i would just wear like, I think I first started off wearing just powder, like a full coverage powder, um, which I don't have any in my stash right now, but I would use the, um, so the Maybelline Fit Me powder, I would use that. It's full, it's pretty full coverage, um, and I would use the color 360 Mocha, and that was what I, I wore on my entire face. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, and so, yes, that, that was a baby step for me, but then I moved on to the foundation and I would just wear foundation on its own. And so I just kind of like worked up to this and I think it really just took me to kind of see what was working for me and what was not working and working my way up to wearing makeup the way that I do now instead of just trying to go all the way in. You have to start where you are. If you don't necessarily know what something is for, you don't want to bite too much off that you can handle. So I think we are good on the under eye area. Now I'm going to do some contouring. I'm going to take this Black Radiance Concealer Stick and it's this nice pretty chocolate color. It's a little darker than my actual skin tone and I'm going to contour my cheekbone areas. And this you all may think is a little too much as I'm applying it but or you might not think that it's too much. Um, I just feel the need to also say that it's a cream based concealer and the coverage, I would say, isn't too full. Um, it has a really nice amount of coverage, but it's not too much where it's too overpowering. So it has a really nice light coverage. Just enough for me. There's also a fun fact about me. Um, I just here recently started contouring like 
this was something that I never really did before in my routine, but I became comfortable with contouring. Yes. So uh, this is a product that has really helped me become more comfortable with doing that. So, yeah. But that is enough. I'm now going to go in and set my entire face with my powder, which I'm also using a translucent powder. The one that I'm currently, yeah, <laughs> gotcha. So the one that I'm using right now is by Makeup Revolution again. So I use the foundation by them and also their translucent powder. This is actually a baking powder, but I'm breaking all the rules because when it comes to your hair and makeup and all things beauty, you can do what you want to do. Because if you find a way to make the product work better than the company intended for you to, then do what you want to do, girl. It's your money and you bought it. So do what you want to do. So um, I'm taking this powder. It's in the deep dark shade. So if you can probably tell, and I wanted to pick this up so I could show y'all anyway, the top on this thing is very narrow. And when I first bought it, I was just really struggling to get it out. Poor little Kayla. I was really going in as it is, but eventually I got it. And I made it work. So I took an old little hair product container and I dumped some in here. And yeah, there we go. Um, Rachel, this was actually the container that I was using. Well, this is actually a Carol's Daughter, um, the Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream product that I was talking about. But the label's off, so you, unfortunately, I don't have it on here to show you. Um, so I'm going to go and set my entire face. I'm going to take a nice, big, fluffy, all-over face blush blush brush i'm going to swirl it around take enough product that i need um, and i'm going to once again just apply the product onto my face first and then blend it in and this just helps me to um, apply enough product when i'm using translucent powder because if i put too much or if i put too little i want to be able to know that so this helps me to kind of gauge how much i'm using or how much i need so I'm going to apply this all over my face. And y'all, I don't know if I gave a disclaimer in the beginning, but I live near a train. I live near train tracks and I also um, have a highway that's right outside of my window. So um, forgive me, please, if you hear sirens and traffic and trains. Now you know, and my window isn't open, so, but I'm just that close that you just might hear it. So next, we're going to move on to bronzing this face, child, and this is, yes, I did just contour, but now we're going to do a little bit of bronzing, and this is what I like to say is the top coat to contour. So the product that I have here, I talked about this on my channel before, um, it is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker instant warmth bronzer and this is in mocha mommy and this is what it looks like oh, y'all when i tell you look at this color like it is a nice really brownish reddish color and as you can tell it's real ratchet because i use it faithfully when i tell you i've hit pan and everything i definitely will have to repurchase this because this color is bomb. But this, I will definitely say, has been, hello, honey bunny. Um, this has been a really nice shade that has really helped me to become comfortable with wearing bronzer. Um, and Fenty Beauty came through. Like, when I tell y'all, like, I have also struggled with finding a really nice bronzer for my chocolate skin in the past. But Fenty has definitely helped set the tone for that. So that's why I'm just kind of like stuck on this one and I'm faithful to it because I'm just like, I don't need nothing else. Like this is all I need. But I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my cheekbones. And if you struggle sometimes finding your cheekbones, here's a tip. Just squeeze your lips and you can find it there. I also too have... Um, grown to uh, learn where my cheekbones naturally are. So that's another reason why sometimes I can get away with um, doing what I got to do to find them. Sometimes I also don't apply a bronzer around my hairline, but tonight we're feeling a little bit jazzy. All right. I know one thing we did not do was 
contour my nose. Some people like it. Um, I know the whole gang is here. Hello, folks. I miss y'all so much, and I'm happy to have y'all on tonight. Like, ugh, I hope y'all got makeup out and y'all like planning makeup with me. That would make it so much better. I miss y'all so much, and I hope y'all are doing well. I was telling Rachel earlier, like, and I know I'm talking a lot, but no, I was telling Rachel earlier, congratulations to y'all. I know that, like, ah, oh, yes, I miss y'all. I know that graduation is a thing and all of that, but congratulations to y'all. Y'all worked so hard to get to this point, and it's unfortunate what's going on in the world, but know that I just know that y'all are doing great, and y'all deserve the world. Um, Yes, honey buns. I miss y'all. <sighs> All right. So with this contour on my nose, sometimes I I really have never done this, but I've seen many people do it. They say you can do this to kind of help your nose. If you have a really large nose, this can kind of be a trick that you can do to help your nose look a little bit smaller. Um, you just got to watch how you do it and not apply too much. Um, too much product or it will look muddy um, and you also have to blend it really nice which this is a pretty good product that I can get away with using so I'm gonna go for it all right so I'm also apply some of that Fenty Beauty bronzer so there we go y'all I have pretty much the face looking nice i'm gonna move on to doing some blush this is a black radiance blush and this is in the color um brick house it's a really nice plum shade and y'all when i saw this i was like yes god like whoo! i really like it so i'm just gonna apply this a little bit to my cheekbone areas it is very brown skin girl friendly like it is really really nice all the shades of browns i think this will look nice on um and then we're gonna do some highlights so i'm gonna pull out my elf highlighting palette and there's a plethora of shades in here but i'm gonna take this really nice um this is copper it's one of those y'all help me out um, but i'm gonna take a little bit of that and apply it right above that blush and highlight, y'all, is one of those things that I don't like to play with because you can get, you can apply too much and it does not look great. So I really try to be real, real, real careful when it comes to highlight. And when I do apply too much, I can just go back in with whatever brush I use to apply my powder and I can go over it and it can help tone it down and we'll be all, all good. But I think right now I'm good. How y'all been? What's been up? Y'all talk to me. What y'all doing to take care of y'all selves during this time? What y'all got snacking on? What kind of quarantine snacks y'all been snacking on? I've been having pistachios on deck, banana chips. I know that's like, that sounds so old lady, but look, <laughs> your girl is over here trying to lose a few pounds. A lot of pounds. But what y'all been up to? After all of that, next, I think I have, um, mm, we're going to do a little bit of eyeshadow and then we're going to live our best life. So here lately to prime my eyes for my eyeshadow, I've been using this putty eye primer. Um, this can set as a base for your eyeshadow to help it not crease um, and help, help it just be a really nice base to work from um, so I'm going to apply a little bit of this is very natural tone so you probably won't be able to see it much but this is a really nice product and I actually just recently started using it so I'm just trying to see how it works and if I really want to commit all right so I have enough of that Whoop. Um, and I'm going to go in with this really nice Profusion palette that I actually got from, um, 
five below, I will say, because like I said, y'all, I, I like to keep it real and let y'all know when I've gotten some really got my hands on some really good products that are accessible because yes, it's great to show y'all high end products, but what about drugstore products, right? So this palette I found at five below. Um, so it was like $5. Uh, but this is by Profusion. Um, now the colors does have a lot of fallout, which you can expect that. Uh, but it's really, really nice colors. And this is in their warm palette. Um, so some nice neutral shades. I've been in love with them. I'm going to take my Morphe M330 brush and I'm going to go into this middle shade. And this is going to set as my uh, transition shade. So I'm just going to pop that right into my transition area and work that in. I know, like you got to keep moving or you really will eat up the house. Like everything looks good and for me i know i'm a snacker so i have to be careful like so um i told you i have a little fur baby so i like to get outside at times and walk her um to kind of keep myself active and i'm not just sitting around the house watching disney plus all day um or netflix or hulu um, and just eating everything because if you let me, I will. I don't know why I was about to put my palette up, but yep, so that's my transition shade. Um, and I'm going to move on to my darker shade. So I'm just going to do like a, a soft, smoky eye look, which will be really, really natural as y'all can see because I'm not using like any black colors or anything like that. I'm just using some chocolate shades and going from there. Something that's really natural is what I'm trying to go for. Um, and as you can see, I'm already having some fallout underneath my eye, but we're going to get it together. So I'm just going to create an outer V on the edge of my eyelid. And I'm just putting enough product so that I can blend it in. And then I'm going to take my blender brush and I'm going to just go over that. These colors are pretty pigmented when they want to be, but the reason that I think using a primer is really good so that you can get your colors to pop so much more. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more of that darker shade onto my outer V area. I'm going to go back over it, over it, over it. All right, so now that we got that together, I'm then going to move on to just brushing off the fallout because it was all crazy. Um, then I'm going to get me a eyeshadow brush. Mm -mm -mm. Eyeshadow brush. Okay, we found one. So I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush. I'm going to dip it into this really nice natural shade right here. Um, and I'm going to pack this onto my lid. Don't you just love a nice natural look? For me, though, like natural smoky eye looks are like my favorite thing. I really think that I want to get outside of my comfort zone. Um, but I know that with natural looks, you can wear pretty much anywhere. So that's the convenience of just you know, doing a nice smoky eye look that's pretty natural. So, um, but now and then, it's good to do some color. So, I am pretty much done with the shadow. So, I'm just going to go with my powder brush and I'm going to go underneath my eye 
making sure I get any fall out. So I'm gonna have a nice under clean under eye. Um, and that's the thing about like using dark colors. It's also good if you have like tape or something or something that can be a barrier um, underneath your eyes, that would be really, really good because you want to protect your nice face. All right, so we're going to move on to the next best thing, and that is some eyeliner. So I'm using one of my all-time favorite liquid eyeliners, and it is by e.l.f. Uh, this is one of the OGs for me. This is like a product that I used when I first started wearing makeup, and I'm still using it because it's just that darn good. Now, I did, hold on a second, because you know eyeliner, you can't talk or like do nothing. You really got to focus. Oh, we got there. I would say one thing with eyeliner and eyebrows, they're never going to be twins. They're always going to be cousins because one will always be one way and the other will go the other way. And it's just you try to do the best that you can to make them look identical. Right. And then you also have to, you also got the eye that you like doing more than the other. I love doing my right eye, like it's just everything, but I love my left eyebrow, so it's really weird. You'll always have those those favorite things on your face that you'll like doing more than the others, but all right, y'all, so I think that we are good with the liner. Let me go over one more time on this left. I told y'all this wasn't my favorite one. I just want to make sure it's complete. So there, we got a nice little cute line. Um, the next best thing for me would be lips. And I'm going to do lips before I do mascara or anything like that. Just because when I tell y'all, <laughs> I have a favorite lip combo that tops everything out there right now for me. You feel me? So lately, I've been using two NYX products. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner, and it is in the color Club Hopper. Is that Club Hopper? Yes, Club Hopper. And it's a really nice chocolatey brown color. And then I have this liquid lipstick, and this is also by NYX. It's by the Lingerie line, and it's in the color Beauty Mark. It's really, really pretty. This is a really nice chocolatey shade. Um, where is my sharpener? And I actually saw this, um, a similar combination on one of my favorite YouTubers channel. And this is the closest that I can get to what she did because I didn't, I don't, I don't want to invest in the products that she used because they were pretty expensive, but this is a very similar shade to what she used. So just going to outline my lips real quick. And this lip liner, I would say is very universal because I can use this with any lip color that I wear. I can use this with red, pink, any color. All right. I got that down. And now we're just going to go over this. Which, oh, look at that. Do you see what I'm seeing? Like, this is everything. <sighs> like, this combination here. Like, okay, so it's definitely, it's definitely natural. It looks natural. But it's also a brown that when you look at me, you can definitely see it and it pops. I think. Like, it's a really pretty, like, chocolatey. <sighs> Like natural, I don't know if I want to say it's too, too natural because it's definitely not just my skin tone. Like, I don't think. 
it's a really nice pretty brown like mm, this mm, it's so chocolate and i love this combination so this is what i've been doing here lately and i love a really nice chocolatey brown but i notice sometimes like when i have used like really dark browns I haven't really worn those as much, but this, this is like a really nice. So if I want to go for like a really nice chocolate, this is what I would really pull for. And I, I love it y'all. So I think my favorite YouTuber used something very similar. Um, I don't want to say, I don't know the company, but it was like a high end company, but this I love, and I've seen these particular lipsticks before in the store, and I've always overlooked them. So I'm just like, I've been really missing out this whole time. Like, really? So there's the lips. Then we're going to move on to the eye. I'm going to move on to the mascara. So for mascara here lately, what's really been helping me and being like my best friend for my mascara is primer. Um, never really thought to use mascara primer, but this has really helped me because it's allowed my makeup, my mascara to go on a lot more cleaner. And it's also allowed me to help my mascara to be more lasting and also boost my eyelash, my eyelashes so much more. So I really enjoy wearing it, um, and using it really any primer will work. This one that I'm currently using is by the company Essence. I know you can typically find their products in Ulta, um, but really I've used a L'Oreal primer, any primer that you can get your hands on, I think honestly will work. So right now I won't necessarily say like, oh, use this because if you just have a primer, you are in business because I will tell you a primer for your, your mascara will really top everything off for you. Um, but I'm going to do my mascara in just a second. But what I will say is that here lately, I've been trying out some things and eyelashes have been one of those things. I'm not a big fan of eyelashes, never really been, but I just was trying. Y'all y'all heard me. I said I've been trying something. Um, but what's really been helping me get comfortable wearing lashes are these babies here. These are by Ardell. And these are the Naked Lashes in the Cold 420. These are very, very natural looking lashes. They almost look like my own, but just with mascara, like a lot of mascara, and they look great. Um, very, very natural. For the sake of this tonight, I'm not going to put lashes on, but I just figured I will also update you all what I'm trying new here in my makeup routine. Um, I know for me, like I've tried another different kind of lashes. Um one also being by Ardell, like the faux mink lashes. But these babies are like, whew, when I, can you see, girl, she would be overdoing it by far. Like those are really pretty, but I have to cut those to make sure they're even and all of that stuff. So like, it's, it's really tough. Haley, I miss you also. Y'all are really all on here. Like it is a whole reunion. It is a whole reunion. Come on, Rachel, did you do this? Did you? Just kidding. I miss you all, ladies. I'm happy to have y'all on, and I hope this is all helpful, but I, I miss y'all so, so much. So much. How you been? Tell me what's been going on. Y'all all seniors. Y'all grown out here, okay? Can't nobody tell y'all nothing? <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to put on some mascara. I'm going to put this primer on first, but I'm not really going to go in too deep on the lashes. Tonight, I'm just going to put just, just a little bit is what I need. Because being honest with y'all, I ain't going nowhere. So when I apply this, it's going to look, yes, like snow. It's on my lids. It's going to look crazy. But that's how the primer comes off. It's very um, white. So, but it's pretty good. And then I'm just going to go over that with my mascara. And I'm just going to apply a couple coats because I don't need a lot right now. Do y'all find that when you do makeup, you, you make a whole bunch of silly faces? Like, I know I do when I'm applying a liner. Definitely when I'm applying mascara. Y'all can see it right now. Um, lipstick, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Well, you be we be focused. Let's just say we be real focused. We just don't want to mess up and all that good stuff. Like we just gotta gotta pay attention. So to finish off this look, I am gonna go underneath my eyes and I'm just gonna take what's left over on my brush that I used earlier to apply that really dark shade around my outer V, and I'm just going to apply a little bit of that onto my bottom lash line and I want to do the same to the other eye that would just help to bring my eye look all together and then I can also apply a little bit of mascara I wish my little fur baby would come in here so y'all could meet it, but Autumn, let's see if she can. Autumn, 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 come here, mommy. Oh, I think she's coming. Oh, she's coming. Autumn, come here, mom. She's coming, y'all. But yes, I am pretty much good and done on the makeup. But what I recently found here is like bay. And now that I know we coming up on summer and spring months, because I'm like, I'm really skipping over spring like that. That is so disrespectful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, spring. Spring, yes. So you're going to need some really good stuff for these coming hotter months. Just because like if you have oily skin like myself, we just got to prepare ourselves. So here lately, I've been using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Another really good setting mist that is a drugstore one is the Elf Matte Magic Mist. It's really, really good. This is the one that I currently have right now, and I got it from Ulta. And it is a, it's a mist, so it's going to spray like that. So I'm going to just apply a little bit of this. I'm going to look a little crazy because I just recently started wearing this or using this and I don't know how to feel about it yet like it's really still new <laughs> that's all I can say like it comes off and it has a lot of like the scent is bearable but it also when I spray it it looks kind of like it, it first looks a little bit of white so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just spray it first and y'all might see a little bit what I'm what I'm talking about okay Man, I don't think y'all gonna see it, but I can see it and I can smell it. The smell isn't bad. It's actually pretty good. It's just different from what the other one was. So like I said, this one is matte. So it's gonna dry pretty um, matte. If you do have dry skin, I don't know if I would recommend this product, especially with it being matte. It may dry your skin completely out even more and it might not be feeling the greatest. So. But if you have oily skin, um, this would be something that you could try. If you do have dry skin, though, there is another version of this one. This actually just launched, but Morphe is known for their continuous setting mist. The other one that they have is all black, like the can is all black. And that's the one that I used before, even though I was just like, I didn't know if it was really good for my skin or not. I just really, really liked it. So you may be able to try that one if you have dry skin. Autumn, I think the people want to meet you. Come meet people. Come on. Come here, honey. Autumn. She's being lazy. I don't know if she's going to come. Autumn. I think she's coming. Hello, mommy. Hello. But yes, y'all, I am pretty much done with this look. I thank y'all for stopping by. Little Autumn. She stayed back for this one, but it's okay. Come eat the pea. This is my little Brindle plot hound, if she would even. Come here, mommy. Say hello. Say hi. Say hi, Naturally Kayla family. My name is Autumn. Say hello, mommy. Say hello. Hello, mommy. I miss y'all so, so freaking much. Yes, I had to show her because I was just like, they would love her. She's just a year old and she is a plot hound. 
plot hounds is actually the dog of North Carolina. Um, I didn't know that until we got her. I love this little papa. Do you love your mama? Right now, she's just like, can you just leave me alone so I can go back to sleep? I don't want to do this. Mommy, it's early. She's like, no, it's not. I miss y'all so much. And I hope to see y'all back here on the channel. I know I've been missing in action for a while now. Um, and it's with good reason. Work has been hectic. Life has been eventful. Um, but I have not forgotten about the Naturally Kayla family. Um, I also know that I had to be reminded of why I did this thing in the beginning. Um, definitely a lot um, to do with beauty, faith, and lifestyle. All those things I definitely want to continue to feature here on my channel. And I don't want to forget my why to why I wanted to do this thing. So that's why I thought of y'all. I miss y'all so much that I was just like, let me just do a whole uncut, just like all the way out there live because I missed y'all that much. And like y'all heard my story of how I had to go through all of what I had to go through just to get to here. It was just so much, but we got it done. And I'm happy that I got a chance to see y'all tonight. Fam, I love y'all so much. I miss y'all dearly. Like I said, oh, Autumn says she's done. All right. Okay. She's grown. All right. But I miss you guys. I love y'all so much. And I appreciate all the love and support that y'all always show me on my channel. And I hope to continue to pull out content that's going to be engaging. Y'all send me ideas. If there are things that you think that I should do here on my channel, if there's particular looks that you would like me to do, um, I'm not putting y'all to work and saying like, hey, like, tell me what I should do, but more so just give me ideas if there's something that I should be doing a little bit more of or that you would like to see me do here on my channel. I welcome all ideas and I'm very, very grateful to be able to push that out. And I always try to give thanks to y'all whenever I can. Um, Cause I know that y'all are a big part of why I can keep going, why I can keep doing this thing. And so I appreciate y'all um, for all the support. Yes, I really, really love y'all. Like I'm loving all of this love tonight, y'all. That's why I know. Like, okay, so for those of y'all that was not on here before, what basically happened was, okay, I was already filming this, but. For some reason, I wasn't on the right channel. So I had basically filmed the whole thing and then found out after I was done that I was on the wrong channel. Oh, like it was just a little heartbreaking. And I know something was wrong because I didn't hear from nobody. And I only had like one person that was watching the whole time. And I was just like, this person is really faithful. But they're not talking to me. So I don't know what's going on. I was like, everybody sleep. Don't nobody care about you right now, Kayla. It's ended. And so all along, I was just on the wrong one. So and just a heads up, if you do have a YouTube channel, make sure that you are logged into the right account. If you film any videos or anything like that, do any live videos on YouTube, make sure you are on the right account <laughs> because your girl had to fail to learn. But I'm learning along the way. Um, and I'm enjoying the ride. This was so fun tonight, y'all. And this was so easy. Like, I mean, sometimes it takes me forever to do a video. So y'all hold me accountable. When y'all ain't heard from your girl, be like, Kayla, where you at? Hop on and do a live. Like, we miss you. Just catch up with us. Just check in. Check on your people. I would gladly do that. Um, but I'm going to get off this thing and let y'all go. Y'all be great. Y'all continue to take care of yourself. Continue to be the wonderful, lovely people that God has called y'all to be. Continue to keep your heads up. Continue to stay encouraged. I know that this is a really tough time right now, but we are all in this together, honestly. Like, there, there was no choice for nobody in this. So continue to do what you can to take care of yourself during this time. Do something for yourself. Remember all of those things that you um, kind of gain from me on here that I talked about in terms of social media and those kind of things. Like you don't know anybody in explanation as to why if you log off for a few days or so, you deserve it. And you don't have to explain that to anybody. But I love y'all. 
I will see y'all next time. And like I said, y'all, let me know what you want to see next. Let me see what you all, just send me any ideas, any requests. I am, I'm open to all of it. So I love y'all. And until next time, pieces, pieces, pieces. Love y'all family. Bye.